In just two weeks, the San Diego City Council will vote on whether or not to ban homeless encampments on public property. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. I'm Jesse Pagan. The proposal has the support of Mayor Todd Gloria as the city searches for solutions. However, opponents are working to stop it tonight. CBS 8's Jasmine Ramirez shows us why some advocates think the ban would only make the homelessness crisis worse. If passed, the new law would make it illegal to set up tents on city sidewalks. But people who oppose it say criminalizing homelessness is not the answer. Um, I don't think you're going to see the crisis be alleviated at all. I think you're going to see these people moving into other regions where they weren't previously or they're going to be pushed into, you know, further out away from the services. City outreach and services made a world of difference for George Myers. I, mean, I had chronic kidney disease. I've had two strokes. I used to live on the streets. I was homeless for like three years, four years. He worked with a caseworker from the Rapid Rehousing Program Path and was matched with affordable housing. Now he lives floors above the sidewalks he once had to call home. I asked him his thoughts on the potential encampment ban. Where do they expect them to go? Where they, come on now, where, where do they expect them to go? This is one of the questions the People's Council San Diego is asking. The group is made up of local activists who created this petition against the unsafe housing ordinance. The goal of the petition is to have Mayor Gloria and the City Council rescind this ordinance proposal and recommit to the permanent supportive housing, um, safe campsites, more 24-hour public access bathrooms. Casey says San Diego should also look at how other cities tackle homelessness. Houston is a great success story for the housing first approach to move 25,000 unhoused people off the streets into permanent housing. And these are folks who are staying long term, one or two years. Meanwhile, those in favor of the ordinance say it would make the city a safer place. If passed, the ordinance would go into effect sometime this August. The full city council will vote on it on June 13th. In downtown, Jasmine Ramirez, CBS 8.